Hi, we're live on television. This is what we do. We, this has become our thing on Thursdays. People join us live, so welcome. I appreciate your time. I was just talking to Darren Woodson about your team and the gap between you and everybody else. He said right now it is you and everyone else. How do you best describe the confidence of your team? Uh, I think our confidence is great, uh, to be honest with you. Our offense is playing very, very well, uh, very high-powered offense, uh, great mind over there with Coach McVay. Uh, defensively, we got some work to do, uh, but we, like we did today, we got to find ways to get off the field, and uh, at the end of the game, that's what, we're, what we did. Yeah, that was what Darren pointed out right now. Because you guys are a little banged up, obviously, Aqib Tlaib is, is lost to you for a period of time. And, look, you played a very capable and competent offense. But where, where, where do you feel you need to tighten things up on your side of the ball, Ndamukong? I think we did a great job this uh, today in the run game. Uh, it was something that hurt us last week, uh, so we made emphasis of that this week, especially on the short week. Uh, but get moving them, uh, them moving the ball down the field so quickly was something that wasn't great for us, uh, and we got to find ways to get off on third down. I think third down, if I go back and look at the statistics, was terrible for us. Um, so if we find ways to get off on third down, the yards really don't mean anything and, and force them to kick field goals. Obviously, in the NFL, we, we don't do a whole lot of ones versus ones work because practice really isn't where the focus is week to week. But if you're if you're trying to stop your offense right now, what would you even do, man? They are cooking. Man, it's very, very tough. Uh, obviously, we have great receivers, Cooper Cup, uh, Brandon Cooks. Uh, you can just name it. Uh, and, and then obviously you have uh, TG, Todd Gurley, and, and JG is just great. Jared Goff is uh, just picking people apart, and that's what we expect of him. I saw that in camp. Um, so I, I'm speechless of what we would do against him if we had to play him. So I'm just glad we don't have to play him. <laughs> I saw you, did, you lined up at DN. Did I, did I see that right? Are you going to get wide? Is that What are we doing out there? Uh, I did play DN. Uh, I've been able to be fortunate enough to learn from some greats uh, in my futures, uh, in my in my past career. Uh, the Jim Washburns of the world have, have put me out there, so yep. I'm very comfortable. I, I love being able to be versatile and play everywhere on the football field. Uh, and so, whether it's N, nose, three, two, uh, I'm just excited to be on the field and be able to get get a chance to get one on ones. All right, I I, I should have I buried the lead here. I, I wanted to start with this, but I would have felt silly asking this out of the box. But th those jerseys tonight, I believe are the cleanest that I mean I see those and I think why wear anything other than that do you share my same sentiment that those are the jerseys you should be wearing on Sunday after Sunday after Sunday <laughs> No, no question. Jerseys are beautiful. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I think we'll we'll have many more games of this uh, and being able to be in them. So uh, hopefully we just get a, continue to win and be successful uh, and, and enjoy this. Well, yeah, well, I mean, you know, you look good, you play good, you feel good, as they say. Just a last quick thought. What's, what does the ceiling look like for this team? If everything's going exactly right, is there room for improvement? Teams always say, look at the tape, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, how much better can you guys be? Uh, without question, there's room, especially on the defense side of the ball. Uh, and, and offensively, as, as, as we give them more opportunities to, to move the ball down the field, they're obviously going to put up more points. Uh, defensively, like I said earlier, uh, continue to stop the run, uh, find ways to get off the field and the passing downs on third down. Uh, and really, the, the sky could be the limit. And uh, we all I've have a common goal. We want to win a championship. Uh, but there's a long way before that. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty well right now being 4-0. Uh, but we've got some things to clean up. So I'm excited about where we're at. We're going to enjoy it over the weekend and get back to work on Monday. All right, speaking of things to clean up, I, we have a little segment where we pick games. I got Nebraska winning on the field coming up this weekend. I'm, I'm calling for a Cornhusker victory, so I'm backing your guys this weekend. Uh, hopefully they can follow your guys leading and get in the winner's circle this weekend. Adamic, and thanks for your time, man. We'll catch up again, all right? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's always good to talk to you. I right, appreciate it.